Barack Obama is Abe Lincoln if he was black and not gay. Hillary, Betty White called and she wants a pantsuit back. John Edwards to me is a slick, lip smacking, tongue dipping candidate. And I say tongue dipping because the guy dips his tongue into water or any drink. He dips it in, he like, it's like he scoops it out like a, like a cat. And then he like sucks it back up. He's always licking his lips. Dennis Kucinich is like the Sanford and Son of presidential candidates. He will take your junk and he will assemble it. And he also has a severe cocaine problem. Oh, Chris Dodd, do you mean Martin Landau from Space 1999? Because they must be the same damn person. Bill Richardson is Lou Costello if he hadn't had Abbott holding him back all those years. The problem with Joe Biden is much like my grandfather or me with a cruller, he always bites off way more than he could chew. Calm down, Joe. You're from Delaware. Even Rhode Island, even Rhode Island is more important than you simply because it's in New England. Mike Gravel. I'm Mike Gravel, God damn it! <laughs> I think Mike Gravel is from another dimension where people actually take things seriously. How would you define the word liberal? And would you use this word to describe yourself? Is African Americans ever going to get reparations for slavery? Why is it still acceptable to use religion to deny gay Americans their full and equal rights? Be honest with us, how are you going to be any different? Was the CNN YouTube debate really innovative? I don't think so. Uh, I love the idea, and I'll say, I don't know if anyone's read Al, Al Gore's Assault on Reason. I always thought Al, Al Gore should have a show called Next Best West Wing, where like he has an Oval Office in his garage, and he's just like, Tipper, please, I have a cabinet meeting next to the bicycle pump. The point is, is that I love the printing in, in Assault on Reason, this printing press idea, this idea that anybody can come up to the marketplace of ideas and bring their question. The only problem is that when you actually see the marketplace, it looks like a terrible street fair at Union Square on a Saturday, which is a lot of things that are just repetitive or not that interesting. And there were some really stunning questions in the debate, but what would be really innovative, like tel telepathy between the candidates and the question askers, uh, uh, time travel of any kind, and I think Dennis Kucinich has already achieved time travel. Why don't we use transporter beams? Let's beam people onto the stage. They ask their question. Maybe one of them by accident will hit Anderson Cooper and then they will be merged with Anderson Cooper and we'll have like that snowman guy in Anderson Cooper and he'll be just like Michael Keaton's Jack Frost. How would you define the word liberal? And would you use this word to describe yourself? Are you a liberal, man? What a, what, a, what a botched answer. I thought a good question, like a really strong question. And Hillary steps up, right? And she's there. Every person who has waited since the day that Dukakis was labeled a liberal in 1988 waited for the death of that being a bad word. And then she goes, but I'm a progressive. And like some weird progressive. She was like, she was like I'm a, a palo progressive. I didn't even know what she was saying. She's carrying out. And don't John Kerry out, because John Kerry, born loser. If you had to pick any Republican member of Congress or Republican governor to be your running mate, who would it be? Chuck Hagel, Chuck Hagel, Chuck Hagel. Flex your Chuck Hagel muscles, please. I think he's an incredibly like conservative, like very ultra uber conservative Republican. I mean, and, you know, just because he's against the war doesn't mean he's necessarily a great candidate. I mean, Hitler loved his dogs a lot. Is African Americans ever going to get reparations for slavery? Interesting question. Uh, I thought it was pretty kind of strange that Barack Obama said no, because that would be a really good way to kind of get the vote right there, to say you're for it. Because anybody who says they're for it, they're not going to actually do it. No one's actually gonna pay anybody back. The last time that happened, we had 9-11. I'm for reparations for everybody, because I think we've all gotten fucked. 
So shouldn't we all get some fucking money back? Whether they would send their kids to public school or private school. Question is public school or private school. For, there's an example of Anderson Cooper's severe micromanagement of this debate because he started answering for them. He's like, well, your children are in private school. And it's like, slow down, Anderson. I know your eyes are all shocked from all the horrible things you've seen around the world and your little magazine bubble that you live in. Anderson at one point took the reins by himself. What he should have done is he should have quickly gotten a little camera, recorded a little YouTube question, and then snuck it in up on the big board. How many people here took a private jet or a chartered jet to get here tonight? Most of them raised their hands. And you know what? I don't really give a shit. Because if I could take a private jet, I would take one. Mike Gravel, though, took the bus, and not because he wanted to. As myself and other Americans really want to know if our babies are safe. But let's end with Gun Guy, because what was at first an innocuous video, right? Just kind of like, I want to know what you think about my Second Amendment right, and I'm okay, I'm with you there. But when you reach off screen... This is my baby, purchased under the 1994 gun ban. Now there's a guy who should have been in the audience too for the YouTube. Where was he standing there still shirtless with a rifle, you know, just pointing at the audience going, this is my baby, this is my gun. Like what, that was like full metal jacket. I actually enjoyed the debate. I, I love the, most of the questions. I still think that the idea of people on a screen talking to people who don't have to talk to you, I think we still aren't there. I believe in a system that can get Mike Gravel on a bus to a debate. I believe in that system. I believe in the mail. I send a letter and the letter gets to the place it's supposed to go to.